Hi, I'm really excited to be working on this. I've been wanting to add some how-to videos to the site for quite a while, but I've been limited by the software that I felt like all of you were, um, would have available, and I have found Serif's Photo Plus software. You can go to freeserifsoftware.com and download an older version of Photo Plus, and it's going to do everything that we want it to do for this project and everything else. So once you've gone and you've downloaded that and you've got it up and running, we're going to go. I've gone ahead and opened up all the files from that Superheroes paper doll file on OccasionalGenius.com. I have the body opened and all of the other elements I'll here along the bottom minimize for some quick access. Now the first thing that we're going to do is save as this body file because we don't want to change the original, we want to create our own. I'm going to put on my desktop, call it my superhero, and you will see that I've done that before. It's going to save it as a Photo Plus file, which is okay for now, because that's all that it's able to do in this current format. The next thing that we need to do is look at this layer manager right here. Now in any file you're working in layers. With the paper dolls it's especially fun to work in layers because we like to be able to see the layers of paper just like we would if we were really working with paper. The first thing we need is a clean background which is what our background is. We're not going to be able to put anything below that so we want to move our body and make it off of the background. So we're going to take our color selection tool which is the seventh tool down here. Looks like a magic wand. If you hold your cursor over any of these things on your desktop, for just a second I'll tell you what it is. This is the color selection tool. We're going to select that body, we're going to copy it, then we're going to edit, paste, as new layer. Okay, and there it is. We're going to go to the background over here. If you can't see your layer manager, then you need to go into view and select your layer manager tab. Okay, in the background we want to select everything and then clear it. Okay, we're going to deselect. We're going to go back to that first layer. We're going to center our body back where we want it. Okay, now we're going to work from the bottom back or the bottom up. So the first thing we need to put is a cape because that's going to go behind our body. Now you'll take your color selection tool and because this is a two color image you need to select both colors. Hold down your shift and you can add to your current selection. Then we're going to copy. If we have our background selected it should save it just above that. Paste it as a new layer. Okay, It went ahead and saved it to the top so all we have to do is grab it, bring it down behind the body and it's right where we want it. Then we'll grab our move tool again a little crosshairs there, that fourth tool down. Put the cape where we want it. I'm going to save these accessories for later. Okay, our hair also goes in the very back. And I'm going to make the changes to the hair before we copy it in. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take some bangs. So I'm going to select them both with my color select tool using the shift, they're both selected. Underneath the color selection tool is the color what do they call it in this program? Let's look. It's the color pickup tool. Okay, and then beneath that is our brush, and it'll allow us to come over here and color the hair that we've chosen to use. That and the bangs. Okay, we can copy both of those. You know, actually, I only want to copy one because those are going to end up on different layers. Let's copy the back first. Okay, and we want that even behind our cape. Move that into place. Now let's go back and get our bangs. wait for some of these to move around for us. 
paste that as in a new layer. Put that where I'm going to show a little bit of scalp here because I'm also going to bring in a headband. Okay, now each time I want to work in a new window, I need to make sure that that's selected. Put that into place. We're actually going to leave that headband black, I think. We're going to stick with this black and pink theme. Go ahead and close that down. We are not going to save any of those changes. Okay, now from here on out, in the interest of time, I'm not going to make any color changes, but you can see how we might do that, just like we did with the hair. Okay, we've got some tights. Let's grab her top. Now you can change colors on anything that you want to. We can go ahead and change her skin tone. Anything that we want to change, we can. Okay, we're also going to grab this skirt. Okay, now because I'm going to give her boots, I'm going to change the length of this skirt because I want to see all of my boots. So underneath our moving tool is the deform tool. It's going to let me come right up here and just shorten that skirt right up. Okay, so next we want our shoes. Grab these boots. Remember to shift so you get them both. If you keep them both, they're going to come over spaced exactly how you need them. So you're going to be able to move them both right into place. Okay, then we're going to come back. I like these laces. Everything gets paste as its own layer. Oop, I saved it right back in that file. Or pasted it right back in. I'm going to come over here, highlight that, and then paste. Okay, now remember, if we want to change any of these colors, all we have to do is after we get them back in here, select them. I can grab my color pickup. I want my laces to match my cape, so I'm going to pick right in there. Grab my paintbrush. Now my, my laces match. Okay, go ahead and just deselect that. Okay, we also want, we're not going to save any of those changes, our belt. She's got to have a belt. Alright, she needs to do a little bit wider here. So we need our deform tool. Make that just a little bit wider. Okay, the next thing we want, let's do our design. Okay, we've got a lot to choose from here, but we're going to take this simple little splash. We've got some sleeve designs over here that you could use. Okay, we've got that where we want it. And then finally, let's grab our face. Now for our face, we're going to choose the standard selection tool right here. The square is going to be fine. We're going to grab it. You're going to see that whole block come in when we paste it and move it over. Okay, kind of guesstimate where you want that. You're going to be able to move it again. And over here in your layer manager, you'll see it say normal. Go ahead and click on that arrow, and you're going to choose multiply. And that white's going to just disappear. And if you want, you can still come in, move that around a little bit. And there you've got your superhero. Now in the next video, 
I'll go in and show you. We'll look at her again, and I'll show you how to actually create some depth in those labors, in those layers where she looks like a paper doll. So I'm going to go away for a few minutes, fix up her colors, and come back and show you how to fix the layers.